Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're painting from the heart and having a ball. We keep playing with this picture, keep adding some more colors, end up here, there, light, dark, light, dark, push it every direction we can go. I, I, I kind of like it, and I want to see if this is going to do what I want to do on a canvas. I'm going to take some ultramarine blue, a little bit of raw lumber, and give me some shadow color. Look what that does. Let's get it down there. Now at least a little bit bright, let's tone it down a little bit. That's back there, a little bit in the shadows, but watch what this does. Let's get, some, get our shadows a little more consistent. Follow the ground a little bit, let's get it in there. This is just, this is a, again, it's a glaze. Let's tone that down just a little bit. That's how that leaf will be a little bit darker now. Let's do that. So I can use that to kind of tone some of these colors, some of these wild colors I've got. But that's just the way I paint, and I'll go over it and straighten it up. And right there, I just pulled a lot of white that wasn't dry yet. You do have to kind of watch out for that. So this is kind of just my fence. I want to get some of that brown out of it, get more like a, a, a gray, an old gray split rail fence. Ultramarine blue, raw lumber, mix the two together, gives me a good dark, a little bit better fence color. Oh, the colors that are already there, I see it's just, it's, like I said, the other color, see it comes through. But still, now that's more like a fence color. But see that light I had in there before, it didn't disappear. It's just rounding around a lot. There's still a light on the side towards the sun. Let's get a little bit more in here, see it's just a, an old blue gray fence color. I like that. I don't care if somebody did that tree. We we'll kind of grayed him out a little bit. We'll put some of that in there. Side towards the light. See how bright that light is on that side of the tree? Let's get some dark in there with it. It'll really make that jump out there. Okay, I'll up in here a little bit. Some of my places I got up in here. Shadow size. You don't be afraid to carry that stuff in there. Because we can move from light to dark, light to dark, keep going back and forth. Or just play it. And that's what it's all about, having a good time. And as you can tell, I'm not real afraid to throw a paint on there. Put it on there. Ultramarine blue, my raw lumber, just gives me a good fence color, a good dark color that's kind of neutral. Let's get this fence straightened up on this back side over here. Let's pull that, let's get our fences back. Let's pull that out, let's pull that out. Let's get this coming back down through here and that back side of that piece over here. So I cut a little bit hard with that green that last time and I'm just trying to straighten some of that up. And now we've got something to work back into. A little bit more of this dark up into here. Shadow side of that tree is really not there. Let's get some of the shadow on that tree a little bit. I like that. I'm going to some of that in the leaf color up here. Get something in here. Some of that dark side of that tree up there and just roll your brush. That's on a tree. It'll help you develop the way the limbs are going, where the shadows are. Shadow of the grass down here. All those light colors we had just kind of goes across it, but see, it doesn't really cover it all up. Shadow under that leaf, see. Dark side of that apple there. So we haven't put our highlights on the apples yet. We've just put apples in there. We've just been playing around. Just more of that dark in here and cover up some of this area. We go pull some of those strokes up in there to neutralize some of those odd colors that we have. And that's a good color to do it with. It's a good neutral color. But it's color. I love color. I think y'all heard me say that before. Don't be afraid to put color into your pictures. Just get it in there. I want that kind of rail shadows there with the sun shining under the. So we kind of catch that in there. Sun shining through that split rail, cast that shadow on the ground. I kind of pick that up there a little bit. Catch some of that over here. Let's catch that down here on the ground a little bit. Love that. Trying to figure out where the sun will be hitting and where it's not. Pushing colors into it. Building on it. Love to build on it. This one a little dark right in here. As you can tell, so I still haven't gone with a small brush. I'm just, I'm the world's worst about that. I, I just like a big brush. 
roll that side against in the shadow there. Put the brush there, just twist it. That makes a good round place. Catch my shadow under there again. We're just playing, having a good time. Guys, there's no reason, nobody in the world can't do what we're doing right here. You have to overcome the fear of attacking the canvas, of putting paint in it, playing in it. We don't care. Ultramarine blue, raw umber, it's just a good dark color. We're just playing. Just the handle a little bit, into that. There we go. We got a good round on there that time. Let's get our stay one right here a little bit better. On the dark side there. A couple more little darks coming up. For the barrel stays. We're just adding things. It's going to have a shadow cast. Night apple onto that one. Shadow under that leaf. See that shadow there. So that leaf will be casting a shadow down in there. Right there where it rolls across and down under there, see. And that's what helps make that leaf develop its shape, see. It's just adding colors. Do it, do it, do it. That ought to become your motto. We do it, do it, do it, do it. And have fun doing it. They move things on me every once in a while and I kind of get lost there. I don't know. I said, where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, that strokes. You never can't tell what's going to jump out, what's going to bite you. What do you mean by a stroke, Ralph? Watch this brush. I take this brush and I just cram it. And look, what it, look at the effect it makes. But there's color there. There's, there's, there's design there. There's streaks there. There's something there. I mean, just it's just unique shapes. Just do it. Just get something in there. And so just, I wanted that to carry down a little bit farther over here behind this a little bit, like the trees kind of going out this way a little bit more. And so I've done that with just using my little bit darker on that side, because this, this is way down in the back side of that tree. It's just playing. It's just playing. I'll tell you what. I could play on this forever, but you know what I think? I think we got something here that probably make a pretty good painting on a real canvas. You know, we might even throw an old horse in there or something in the background. We don't know. We never know. But I'll tell you what, come back and we'll find out what we will do. Y'all come.